So in the previous video, um, when we started to talk about proportion, I said that you have to distinguish for each question between direct proportion and inverse. You have to determine, is this an example of direct proportion or inverse proportion? Yeah? And in the previous video, which you can find on my website, explainingmaths.com, I have shown you, or I showed you an example of direct proportion. Yeah? If one variable increases by a particular factor, yeah, let's be, yeah, it becomes twice as big, then the other variable will also become twice as big. Now, have a look at this example. It takes six workers four days to paint my house. How long will it take 12 workers? And the second question, what about five workers? Okay, so I have six workers and it takes them four days to paint my house. I'm gonna put that in one of those diagrams. I, I prefer to do it with a diagram. So uh, I have my uh, workers and I have the amount of days, okay? And the six workers, they take four days. And the question now is, how much or how long will it take 12 workers to do the same job? Now, I ask myself, yeah, is this direct or inverse proportion? Let's do, use some common sense. I think we all see that as a factor of two. That's twice as many workers. If everybody works at the same rate, and if nobody is, if, uh, if it's not too crowded, then we all can just work at the same rate. Is that gonna mean that if I have twice as many people that it will also take twice as long to do the same job? No, that doesn't make sense, does it? Now, this is an example of inverse proportion. Yeah? So you should tell yourself, yeah, that doesn't make sense. If this one becomes twice as big, the amount of days doesn't become twice as big. No, it becomes twice as small. I have to do the inverse operation. It's inverse proportion, yeah? If I have 12 people now, twice as many people, the job will be done in half the amount of time. So divide it by two, okay? So, um, a very good example of inverse proportion. What about five workers? Now, again, everybody saw perhaps that was a multiple of uh, six, eh? so times it by two. But what about five workers? It's a little bit less straightforward. So what did I tell you? I leave some space there deliberately because first I'm gonna find out what if I'm all alone and I have to do the job all by myself? How long will that take me? So divide that by six. Yeah, I don't divide this by six. No, then I have to times this by six because this is inverse proportion. So 24 days. It's gonna take me 24 days to do the entire job all by myself. Luckily, I'm not by myself. That was just a way to calculate it now because I have five people, so I times it by five. Um, so I divide the 24 by five, yeah, because this is inverse proportion. And 24 divided by five, uh, that would be four, four over five, eh? or 4.8 days. Okay, so inverse proportion. Um, if one variable becomes twice as big, the other variable becomes twice as small. So it's the opposite of direct proportion. So please, distinguish. Is this either inverse proportion, or is it direct proportion, like the example I did with you with uh, the petrol and the amount of kilometers you can drive? <coughs> Excuse me. Um, Go to my website, guys, expellingmaps.com. That's what I want to tell you because you'll find all my videos there nicely organized, especially for you. And like and share this video if it was useful because then I can help your friends too. I wish you a pleasant day. Bye-bye.